Sewer sticker shock. Folks in a southeast Springfield neighborhood got notices their hookup will cost them tens of thousands of dollars out of pocket. City leaders tell on your side they regret the wording of the letter. That topic will be brought up at the city council meeting tonight. Ashley Reynolds in the studio sorting out the clarification. Ashley. Hey, Steve. Well, before we get to that letter, here's where we are talking about, you know, 60 and 65. And then there's the Springfield Nature Center and then also Lake Springfield. Well, about Two dozen property owners in this area do not have access to public sewer. Neighbors knew this day would come, but did a double take when they saw the price tag. We did it because it was woods and it was at the edge of the city. 50 years ago, Nathan Carlson and his wife built their home. He got this letter from this city. It has a low bid to finally connect them to the sewer. We're not happy that we're going to run through our property and, and, and do all that construction for six months, but the sewer is necessary. The construction costs are shared with those who benefit. The letter says Carlson's estimated bill is $55,481.98. We don't have a lot of money. We've got three kids, three grandkids that we're trying to help through college because their mom passed away a few years ago. They need to clarify why they sent a letter out like this that basically says you're going to owe $55,000. On your side, went to the director of environmental services and asked for clarification. That's regrettable um, when you read through that, because if, if I had gotten that in the mail and opened it up, probably would have been the first thing I would have seen too. In the last paragraph, the letter reads, there are programs to help with costs, like a low interest loan and grants. Then the very last line mentions the opportunity to cap the total cost, but it doesn't give an amount. Listen to this. For single family residential properties, council has determined that those assessments will be capped at $8,300. You heard right. These property owners should pay $8,300 or less. I'll admit it's not very clear. If I had it to rewrite, I think we'd probably write that a little different. Per code, you must connect and pay for the construction too. It was decided a long, long time ago that um, when we built new tax districts and extended sewer into these areas, the cost would be borne by those that received the benefit from the new sewer. 21 families are going to pay for this entire sewer line, and then we're going to be charged every month to use it. Uh, if we buy it, we own it. <laughs> but, you know, that's, that's, there's no common sense. Now tonight, council will declare the need for sewer. It's basically a public notice. Tonight also starts the clock on when folks can file a petition if they want. Now the real decision happens on November 18th to accept the construction bid. Now if approved, construction should start in January. Steve.